see it's a weather alert day because as we go into 7 o'clock, we still have excessive heat warnings. I mean, I looked at the heat index today and we did spike at 114, 115 at Lakefront. But we got to talk about this system. Let me be clear. It's a system right now, not even a tropical depression. This is going to stay away from Louisiana. We can take all of a sigh of relief. It's not going to come here. Indirectly, we might see some surf coming in and maybe some higher tidal ranges. But even then, winds will be wrapping around from the north. I don't think it's a huge deal. We got tropical storm watches, tropical storm warnings, more watches for Tampa and even Orlando. We also have storm surge watches. I've seen the potential Tampa Bay two to four feet above typical. Five to 10 inches of rain just over three days expected there west coast of Florida, even to the southeastern coast of the United States. So here's where the system is at this time. Very large, expansive area of showers and storms. There isn't any consolidation to this. There isn't anything that shows that this is becoming a system just yet that could be named tropical depression or become a tropical depression, be named storm of a tropical storm. And it's still moving at 16 miles per hour. But the latest tracks a depression by tomorrow afternoon, possibly a named storm coming in by late tomorrow night, then maybe landfall late Sunday night as well. So the thing is with this particular forecast track coming out and emerging as we get in day tomorrow, that's an awful long time over very warm water and with low wind shear in the atmosphere too. I think the strength forecast might be a little underdone. There's a chance this could go hurricane Debbie right now. Tropical storm Debbie is what's forecast from the National Hurricane Center at this time. So as we look in the forecast of the tracks, they've been very consistent. You put this with our ensemble data, those same forecast tracks from the National Hurricane Center as we overlay our best computer forecast out of the US. Yeah, that looks great. You can see those little gobbledygooks are outliers, but the forecast out of Europe is at a little bit farther west to this and is in the same timing as what I just showed you from the National Hurricane Center. Eventually, the southeastern coast of the US to South Carolina, North Carolina could be an awful lot of rain here too. So the system being driven by a couple of things here. So we have a system that drops in from the Midwest, kind of forcing that north first. Then the Bermuda High starts to retreat east. That's what pulls it eventually out to that eastern uh, shore, actually, of the United States. Stays well east of Louisiana, no problems here. Becomes Debbie late Saturday night. And the west coast of Florida is the one that really needs to watch out. We got 90s today. We hit 96, 97. It's still 110 at Lakefront. Temperature there's, oh boy, we are still looking at lows. We don't get much relief at all from this. 78 Bogalusa, only 86 around the lake. Now storms tomorrow, they could be strong, maybe possibly severe with some strong wind gusts with temperatures still just as hot. Look at those storms being impressive tomorrow. Could drop quite a bit of rain and that's why locally heavy rain is possible. I still think we go to about 97. That's almost what we hit here today. And that's at least a heat advisory, but that's a lot of energy up in the atmosphere. Heat indices similar towards today, but it's at least it's a heat advisory impact day for tomorrow. So watch out. We'll be here. Meteorologist Derek Sibley in the mornings here. Meteorologist Jim Sion too. Sunday, fewer storms, but still we're not going to get a whole lot of relief. The heat index is still really, really high. At least another impact day too. So we'll be lucky to get the storms tomorrow to kind of temporarily break some of the heat. But oh boy, next week could be looking at record heat. Those are going to have to be alert days too.